Hi guys, Adam here, Adam at Collar TV. So, you've seen vlogs of Silverstone, Wimbledon, and today we're doing a little bit something different. It's the international break. I've been so, so bored. So I'm going down to Old Trafford, not to see 22 men kick around a round ball, but 26 men kick around an oblong shaped ball. It's Wigan Warriors versus the Warrington Wolves at Old Trafford in the Super League Cup Final. Let's see how this one goes down. The home of Jesse Lingard Warrington versus the home of the Pies and Dave Whelan. He broke his leg in a cup final at Wembley, don't you know? Um, Wigan at Old Trafford. This should be very, very interesting. Um, not sure whether it's a sellout. Not really sure how it goes down. I've never done a rugby game before, so it's going to be very, very interesting. Let's see how it goes. Also, thank you to Full Time Devils, of course, for allowing us to come with them to this. We've been invited by Wigan Warriors, so make sure you check out the content we've done on Full Time Devils. The link is below. Anyway, let's go. So just about an hour away now, just stopped off for a quick drink, then I'll hit the road again. Meeting producer Chris and Steve at Old Trafford. Looking forward to this one. So I've got my coffee now, just heading back to the car, and then we're gonna do the last hour of the journey. Um, so on the way, I've been thinking, I wonder, wonder if Rugby League has half an hour scarce. They're their annoyance, nuisance of Premier League football. Um, and obviously we have them in our game, so I'd be really gutted if Rugby League didn't have them as well. Imagine that, they didn't have them, we did. Such an embarrassment. So we'll go half and half spotting as well while we're there. So we're just getting into Manchester now. Um, Got to park up and then go meet the guys at the ground. Um, not much traffic about. Obviously, I'm still about two hours from kickoff in the final, but I'm wondering whether it's going to be a sellout or if it will be 40, 50k there. Not too sure at all. Let's wait and see. Anyway, time to find some parking. I'm just walking down the road now to Old Trafford and it's taken me five minutes to find half and half scarves i'm feeling a whole lot better about football right now guys happy days time to go meet steve and producer chris this here is old trafford cricket ground the little old trafford the real ones just down the road loads of fans around me now as well and some are wearing red some are wearing blue so i've been there thinking i wonder who's red wonder who's blue um, I thought Wigan would be blue, but they're the team in red. Um, and Warrington had a team in blue. Some of you guys watching this might be like, Adam, that's obvious. Well, guys, this is my first rugby league trip. I'm a noob to this shit. I can hear Vuvuzelas and horns. It's like a at atmosphere that you get at a friendly. Oh, a cop final. It is Super League final day after all. That fucking hurt my ear. Right then, some at Bosby Way. The guys are down here somewhere. Walking down some at Bosby Way. Still got the usual Please fans. We got all the Wigan and Warrington fans. Wonder if they've got all the security in. I've seen people dressed as jesters, bananas, all sorts. He's got a card that says try. They do shit differently here. What's going on with these guys? It's party time out here. I think it's a fancy dress party as well. Fucking okay, now. I thought it'd be full of like 
big tongue geezers. <laughs> All angry. That's what I expected with rugby anyway. Let's see what it's like in there. Outside Old Trafford for rugby. Feels very, very weird being here for that. The atmosphere is weird. You still got all the classic United images behind me. Um, although you've got the artwork for the final up on the stadium. Chris and Steve, I don't know where they're at at the moment. Um, I've just dropped them a text, tried to call them. Have they stood me up? Have they really stood me up? Got me outside Old Trafford for no reason. But you hope not. Star Wars outfits and stuff. Who would have thought you'd have Star Wars outfits at Rugby Soup? Bambay lives and he's here at Platts. <laughs> so Platts is bouncing. I think he's got the, the Wigan fans in there. They've been singing Wanky Warrington, Warrington and talking about Wanky Warrington. <laughs> Why am I getting filmed? What's this for? This is my vlog, bitches. How you feeling about today? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Same. How, how good does it feel to come to Old Trafford and, and not like, care? Whatever happens, happens. I'm not asked. Um, Chris has gone in there to get pissed. There's a rambe in his dad. Yeah, that's what I, I've already recorded him. A rambe lived in his Did you see all the nuns? Yeah. I don't nuns. get where people go, right? I've got my match ticket, I've got my cash. <laughs> Let's dress up like a complete bell end. And then we're ready to go. <laughs> I thought I was expecting like loads of meatheads and like, you know, proper tough guys, and you just hear horns, bananas. No, we've been on a big job, haven't we? They're like city fans. You're not waiting for the toilet seat. <laughs> I had a try before I left the album. <laughs> so basically, um, do you think I'm the only Asian here today? Yeah, diversity in rugby is just about the size of your belly. <laughs> <laughs> so what, is it skinny people are in the minority? Uh, yeah, and then it's fat people, fatter people, fat chicks, fatter <laughs> chicks, and, uh, and oh, really seriously, clinically obese chicks. <laughs> And a woman just come out of the toilet and got clapped for it. And there's not a lot of teeth either. <laughs> there's, 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 uh, there's a lot of teeth missing. You're amongst my people now. <laughs> <laughs> I should just go home now. <laughs> so um, I've just realized I don't actually know the rules. I don't know the difference between rugby union and rugby league. Um, so I'm just gonna make it up as we go along. Um, I'm sure Steve can teach me. He used to play this stuff professionally as well. Um, I don't know why you stuck at that. You used to uh, play this sport, didn't you? I did, mate. And actually, to a very high level, I was uh, Super League Academy. I was professional until I was 21. Uh, started in three years with Salford. Uh, how many years ago was that then? 20? Uh, I retired in... Yeah, don't look at me like that. 2005. 2005, I think. 11 years ago. So three lifetimes ago. Giving his age away there. I'm old as fuck, mate. <laughs> I'm 32. I finished at 21. I didn't get a full-time contract at uh, Keyfley when I was uh, 21. So I was just like, all right, I'm not fucking playing anymore because it Let's hurts. Let's go blow people up in the army. Yeah, man. <laughs> on, a, on a real though, I haven't <laughs> seen any ethnics. Um, so I think Wigan have invited us today to fulfill the quota. Yeah, the quota. They must have had a Rooney rule in the press box today. <laughs> Foghorns galore. Selfie <laughs> stick. Selfie stick. Foam hands. I don't know why there's so many police here. They don't look like they're needed, are they? No one's going to do any damage with a foam hand. Very true. Foam hands remind me of gladiators, remember that? Oh, fuck's sake. I hope no one sat behind me with one of them fucking horns. It's October, ladies and gentlemen. And there's Santa Claus. Uh, yeah, I've seen Smurfs, I've seen Santa Claus in the middle of October. I've seen nuns, I've seen jesters. There's absolutely everything. There's a mad atmosphere out here. It's very friendly and family friendly, which I didn't expect at a rugby match, but there it is. Right, time to go in very, very soon. And we're impressed today. It's unusual. So we're heading in now. noise from the fans, I don't know who's singing to be honest, might be Wigan fans. Warrington fans.
We're in at the press lounge at Old Trafford. Memories as you walk down through to the press box. Wish we got this treatment every game, but I don't actually have rather been the strep for them. Check this out. Not bad, eh? We're not using Alan Keegan today. Sounds weird, that. Another man's voice on the PA system. United are cheating on Alan here. Those seats over there are the plush seats. So if any celebrities are about, they'll be in there. So maybe, maybe we'll spot some later. So Craig Charles is talking now. Ain't that a blow from Roma? Oh, it's not really me. So Craig Charles is DJing at Super League Final. Since when he was a DJ, stick to Robot Wars here. Stuart Pierce over there, former England captain. Basically, yeah. Uh, basically, this is what's happened. We thought food and drink was included today, as we're impressed. It usually is. Steve's just come back with three cans. Eight quid is paid for that. <laughs> Eight pounds. We're getting closer and closer to kick off now. Eight minutes, guys. Like 20 and you get the scrum. 
as you can see, Steve has to keep explaining what the fuck's going on to me. Um, we're gonna dominate, 10 minutes gone. Um, yeah, it's just fun, isn't right, it? What normally happens, right, another set inside their 20 meter line, you're pretty much guaranteed to go and score again, so I would expect another try, or a try from Wigan. As you can tell, Steve's explaining the sport to me. I haven't got a clue what he's talking about. Steve, well done, mate. We're only 10 minutes into it. <laughs> You've done all right so far. We're 20 minutes through, uh, it's still 2-0 to Wigan. You don't say too love or nothing like that. Love. Too love to Wigan. Yes, they have try music and Warrington, Warrington have made it 4-2. And they'll have a kick as well, won't they? So they'll have an opportunity to make it 6-2. But it's Warrington with the first try of the game. Warrington with a chance to make it 6-2. So we're on the Old Trafford Wi-Fi today and it is so, so shit. All them commercial seals, all that money the Glazers make off Man United and the fucking got dial up internet. What's going on here? So it's half time here, 6-2 to Warrington. Um, Wigan started off the game well. Warrington came in, so took the lead. Um, from a fast experience though, I've enjoyed it. It's not as slow as I expected it to be, it's not a stop start. The referee only gets involved when he needs to. So yeah, looking forward to the second half. Come on Wigan, let's get back into it. How did we find Michael Carrick yet? No mate. We saw Stuart Pierce, didn't we? Is that Carragher now not? Carragher? No it's not. Jamie Carragher? Yeah, it's not him. No sight of Michael Carrick yet. When we find him, we will get him. It's time for the second half. I try. Drama in the 54th minute. Um, Warrington had scored a try. The on-field ref gave it, but the, the telly box ref said no. Um, so it's still 6-2 and Wigan are still very much that in this game. try is still just as important. If, if Warrington had got that, that might have been a game over then for, uh, for Wigan. The Wigan fans will be mopping their brows. It's so easy to predict when you can go over. You've just got to make sure you do. kick is six all going into the last 25 minutes shit's heating up nicely here yeah. this lot have found their voice after that six all missing the opportunity to take the lead from the kick after their last try they've got another try to go 10-6 ahead with 17 minutes to go is that Wiggins now? It very well could be yeah uh, I, th I thought the next try was going to be absolutely massive and so that's a that's a great kick through Charlie's done well to be able to pull it down it's it's difficult it's in the air he's going to get smashed as he grabs hold of it let's have a look at this again oh he's done well reached up and just slammed it straight down the 
before he gets just in time as well. And the Wigan fans have found their voices. See that guy sneaking on Facebook. <laughs> All this game is missing now is a scrap. We got 12 minutes left. 12 minutes to go. Wigan 12, Warrington 6, Wigan have just scored a penalty. 36, Wigan Warrington 12. So Wigan <laughs> say so some woman just come round asking for man of the matches. Um, she didn't ask me. Austin, oh, is that because we're not experts? I'm an expert. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to go. About a minute ago to be fair, so. We're into Fergie time here in the final, the Grand Super League Cup final of the world between Warrington and Wigan. Warrington need a touchdown. We've got a minute left. Will they get it? They're very close at the moment. It's got to be centimetres, isn't it? And Wigan! And Wigan have won! The Cup! So Wigan have won in the end. Their players celebrating with the fans, going absolutely mad on the pitch. Um, it was a great day for my first game of rugby league, to be honest. Really enjoyed it. Um, great atmosphere from the fans. The game was quicker than I expected. Not so stop start. And the players put on a great show. Warrington nearly got back into it there at the end. But well, they didn't quite do it. And Wigan have got it over the line. 12. Six. They've won it. Steve says this is like them winning the Champions League. You got players on the floor crying, players in the fans. Incredible scenes here. So the referees are just going to collect their medals. No matter what sport it is, the referees always get a good booing. Warrington just going to collect their losers' medals. Well done to them. And there go Wigan, the winners. Just outside Old Trafford, um, just by Wigan fans when we're recording. They are buzzing at the moment with that victory. First rugby league game for me. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't as slow as I expected. It wasn't as stop spot as I expected it to be. And it was a very, very entertaining game. Wigan won it in the end. Uh, Warrington went close coming back into it towards the end, but just couldn't do that. Wigan, victors yet again. Thank you to Wigan for having me. Thank you to Full Time Devils. Check out the video on the channel as well. And uh, make sure you subscribe to Adam McCollard TV. So you've seen me do the rugby, Super League now. You've seen me do Wimbledon. You've seen me do Silverstone. Where do you want me to go next? Hit it in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. I'm out of here.